All right, here we go. Welcome to the program. Here's your boy Forex Noipy. And uh, today, mga kanoipi, i-expound ko lang ng mabuting mabuti yung isang strategy na ginagamit ko uh, when I trade the Forex markets. Okay? This is what we call the trend following strategy. Okay? Hindi ako nagpasimuno nito, mga kanoipi. <laughs> Ginagamit ko lang din to or nakuha ko lang din to uh, dun sa website na pinakita ko sa inyo when I publish that video. If you haven't watched that video, it's on the top of the screen, right-hand corner. And if you are new to this channel, please show me and give me just some a little bit of support, mga kanoipi. Subscribe on that button and hit the notification bell para updated kayo whenever I release a video. Okay, so ipapaliwanag ko lang ng mabuti pati yung set of rules dito sa trend following strategy na ginagamit ko. Sabi nila, the trend is your friend. Okay, so naniniwala ako doon kasi kung sumasabay ka doon sa flow ng trend, may edge ka na kagad sa market. So let's go into the specifics, okay? So rules of the strategy, the first one is identify a trend. So mga kanoipi, hindi ganun kadaling mag-identify ng trend. Sa katunayan, kaya meron tayo mga exponential moving averages, simple moving averages, Kasi yun na lang yung gagawin nilang sign if the market is going upward or is it going downward. Is it a bullish market or is it a bearish market? Pero may mga rules tayo that simply says if you see a trend, you should see a higher high or a lower low or a higher low or a lower high. So, depende sa type of trending market yung hinahanap nyo. Okay? Pagkatapos nun, pag may nakita na kayong trend, mag-drawing kayo ng long-term trend line. Mamaya papakita natin kung ano ibig sabihin nun. Pagkatapos nun, pupunta kayo sa lower time frame at magdodrawing kayo ng short term trend line. Okay? Tapos, mag-execute kayo ng trade after the price breaks and closes the short term trend line. Pakita ko yan sa inyo mga kanoipi. Madali lang siya pag nakita nyo dito sa bulleted items nito sa screen. And our take profit is before the previous support or resistance. And our stop loss is after the previous support or resistance. Okay? Magbigay lang tayo ng maliit na konting drawing na example dito mga kanoipi. What a trend looks like. So, ito yung sinasabi ko sa inyo if... In this example, this is a buyer's market. Okay? May nakikita tayo dito, dito sa part na to. This is our first swing low. Okay? Tapos may makikita kayong lower high or higher low. Ibig sabihin, this is a low, a swing low that is higher than the previous swing low. At pagkatapos nun, may makikita kayong isa pang higher low, which is a higher swing low than the previous swing low. Tapos, opposite nun, para ma-solidify nyo yung trend siya, is makakita kayo ng higher than the previous swing high. Okay? So, pag nakakita kayo nun, according to our rules, draw a trend line. Okay? So, if this is a daily time frame, drawing kayo ng trend line dyan, and the next thing to that is switch to a lower time frame. Tapos, magdodrawing kayo ng shorter trend line. Yung shorter trend line, mga kanoipi, kaya ako sinabing punta kayo sa lower time frame kasi mas madali siyang i-drawing doon. Pero pwede nyo rin namang i-drawing siya dito sa part na to. So, magiging ganyan yung itsura niya, mga kanoipi, because you're drawing a shorter trend line. If the price breaks above this trend line and closes above this trend line, dun sa lower time frame nyo, that is when you execute the trade. Okay? Tapos, syempre, yung stop loss nyo will be at the after the previous support, which is around here, and your take profit should be at least before the previous resistance. So, dito. Okay? Um, yung iba, that's the take profit one. Tapos, merong iba na nagsushoot pa. Kasi nga, it's a trending market. So, you wanna take advantage and ride along with the trend. And, take advantage at magkaroon ng take profit too. Which is right around this area. Right here. Okay? So, minsan may ganong gumagawa na. Okay lang naman din, mga kanoipi. Um, wala namang problema dun. It's just this strategy I use is a way for me to secure profits. 
Okay? So, punta tayo sa charts, mga Kanoy P. So, dito sa AUD USD may nakita tayong trend. Okay? So, this is the daily chart. At zoom lang natin ng konti para mapakita natin. So, this is showing a swing high here and it retraced, corrected the price and then another swing high here and then it, it retraced again creating the higher low. So, now we see this the next move is to create a trend line. So, ang rules natin sa trend line is patamain lahat ng posibleng candles dun sa trend line nyo. So, as you will see, ganun ang ginawa natin, connecting the first swing low, second, and third swing low. The third or the next one or next step here is to move to a lower time frame. Okay? So, ang ginagawa ko dito, mga kanoy, piko nasa nasa daily charts ako, pupunta ako so 4-hour chart o kaya sa 1-hour chart. For this example, if you're day trading, pupunta tayo sa 1-hour chart. I-unzoom lang natin. So, sa 1-hour chart, mga kanoy, ganito ang itsura niya. Diba? Ang layo sa daily chart. <laughs> so, sa 1-hour chart, ayan yung long-term trend niya. Okay? Sa 1-hour chart, yan yung long-term trend niya. Sa 4-hour chart, syempre, mas mas iba yung itsura niya, hindi na ganyan. Pero dito tayo pumunta sa 1-hour chart. Sa 1-hour chart, magdodrawing naman tayo ng shorter trend line. Kung mapapansin nyo, sa 1-hour chart, mga kanoy pi, pag kinonect natin tong tatlong to, ang uh, unang swing high here, pangalawang swing high there, and then this third swing high over here. Okay? So, the rules are... If the price breaks the trend line, the shorter trend line, and closes above outside that trend line, is the time that I execute a trade. So, sa purpose ng example na to, mga kanoy P, ay pwede tayong mag-execute ng long position dito. Pagka-break na pagka-break niya ng trend line, pwedeng dyan. Dyan, tayo mag dyan ako nag-execute ng trade. Okay? Ang isa pang example na ginagawa ko dati is whenever I, I wanted to add a confluence to my trade setups is pag may nakikita akong possible retracement. So, dito sa pagkakataong to ay nag-retrace yung market going down here. Pero kung mapapansin mo, mga kanoy P, nag-retrace siya pa baba dito. Diba? Nag-retrace siya dyan, sa babang yan. Pero, pansinin mo, mga kanoy P, gumawa na ngayon siya ng isa pang trend line or ng isa pang trend. Nag-develop -nag na siya ng higher low at higher high. Another higher low here. Kita nyo ba, mga kanoy P? See? It's now creating that pattern, which is a good thing. Kasi that means you can either execute the trade when that candle closes or you wait for the market to retrace back. Either way, it's the rules of the strategy. Okay? And your stop loss will be, uh, if you go back to the daily charts, your stop loss will be the previous or the latest support, previous support, and your take profit will be your latest resistance. So, pag bumalik tayo sa trend line, mga kanoy, sa daily charts, ganito ang itsura niya. So, tingnan nyo, pwede nyo rin naman gawin yung shorter trend line sa daily time frame or dun sa higher time frame kung ayaw nyo ng mag-multi time frame analysis. Okay lang din naman yun. Mas, I find it lang mas accurate if I do a multi time frame um, analysis. So, nag-break yung candle dyan. So, when I hit a long position at the close of that candle, dito yon. My take profit would be before the previous resistance, which is there. And my stop loss will be before or after the previous support. Right? So, this could be a 1 is to 1 ratio. Uh, risk to reward ratio which is okay lang at uh, pwede rin naman kayo mag 1.2 right so yan yung rules ng trend trading strategy na ginagawa ko uh, feel free to follow it copy it it's all yours at gusto ko rin ipakita sa inyo mga kanoy P yung ginagamit ko na repository or parang library ng mga strategies na pinag-aaralan ko when I get the time. Um, that's forexmt4indicators.com I will post this link in the description box. Pero may mga video din ako na ginawa that's indicating this. You will find that at the top right hand corner of their screen. 
Okay? So, mga kanoy pi, kung nag enjoy ka dito sa pinapanood mo at may natutunan ka, please hit subscribe and hit the notification bell. Pag na-in love ka naman sa video sa ginagawa ko, share mo naman mga kanoy pi. Diba? Tapos, Pasok ka na rin dun sa Facebook group natin na Forex for Beginners PHI. Dito nag-share tayo ng ideas, nagbigay tayo ng mga inspirational quotes. The group is also open for discussions. If you have questions about your Forex trading, feel free to post them there. Okay? Pero for now, that's all I have for you mga Kanoy P. Please trade safely and have a great weekend. Bye for now!